Now, Buy Me A Coffee has a lot of flexibility when it comes to alternatives like Patreon. And it's relatively easy to add Buy Me Coffee to your WordPress website through its plugin. Now, when you do so, this can inspire people who visit to support you as a creator. In fact, most of my income from supporters has come from the website's button and its widget. Well, I'm Mike with Raj Sanctuary, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Buy Me A Coffee plugin for WordPress. Okay, let's dive into Buy Me A Coffee and its WordPress widget. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go to Plugins. We're going to, go to Add New. We're going to search for Buy Me A Coffee. Then we're going to Install Now and Activate. Now immediately this should bring you to the buy me a coffee settings in WordPress. And from this screen, we just click on behind here and then we add our buy me a coffee username and hit save. Once your buy me a coffee information is added to the WordPress plugin, you're able to create the button and widget. So the first thing we're gonna do is enable the widget. So we're gonna click on the slider here and it's gonna save its settings. Once it's done, we scroll back down and we're gonna customize it. So we click on customize widget and from here, we can pick all kinds of colors. Now we've got six to choose from, and you probably want to pick one that's pretty close to your theme so it looks kind of justified, but uh, you can do it with purple, blue, tealish green. That's probably one of my favorites. And we can choose what side of the website we want it on, either on the right or the left. Uh, let's go ahead and look, stick it on the left. And then you can also justify its uh, spacing from the side and from the bottom in pixels. So if you have something else up on the left and you want this to be higher, you can always go into the bottom spacing and add more to it. So like we can make this 25 and that would actually bring it 25 pixels from the very bottom of your website. Then obviously on this side you have what it will look like when people click on the button or you can click that guy and it's going to look like that on the website itself, at least until somebody clicks on it. Now from here, you can add in the description of what you want your widget to say, uh, a message for people. So like, um, I don't know if I necessarily like how this is worded because it makes it sound like, you can now buy me a coffee. Kind of aggressive. So let's go and delete that and write a new one. And we're just gonna make it pretty basic. Thank you for your support. So we're gonna hit save changes. And now when we look at the front page of our website, we see that on the left we have our widget. But as you can tell, I'm using a different theme, so it doesn't really look very good on this because it's covering up some of the sidebar stuff. So what we're gonna do is go back into here, customize the widget. We're gonna say, let's stick it on the right. We're gonna save changes. And now it's over here on the right side. So it's away from our sidebar. Everybody can still see all this good stuff. And this guy is all by his lonesome. And then people can donate directly to you from the website. So they can add in their name. They can, whoop, they can send you a message. They can choose how many coffees to buy you or put in a custom number. Now there is one thing I would like to bring up about the widget. Sometimes if you have too many messages, depending on your theme, it'll cut off the very top of it. And I've already brought this up to their uh, developers, so hopefully there's a fix for it soon, but it seems like it works fine on my test site. Another thing to bring up is with the widget, and if you install AMP, it's gonna take the widget out of the equation because it doesn't work very well on mobile devices. So AMP will automatically remove it from your website. Now this reason alone is why I have both of them on mine. So like I have the button for buy me a copy. If somebody scrolls down past the content, they'll see it in sidebar, which gets shifted to the bottom on a mobile site. But at any rate, let's go ahead and make a button now. So we're gonna go back to our buy me a copy page here. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna customize the button. Now the button's just like the widget where we can have uh, different customized colors. You got um, seven in this one. You make it yellow, purple, blue, green, red, purple. And kind of a pinkish purple. But let's make it all even. So we're gonna select the teal button. And then we can change the text of what it says. So you can say, buy me a coffee, buy me a beer. You can choose the font between Lato and Arial, which really isn't a lot of choices, but I mean, as Hopefully they add more flexibility to the plugin, um, especially when you consider that you can customize the hell out of it on Buy Me A Coffee's actual website. But we're gonna keep it as this here. We're gonna hit save changes. 
But in order to add the button, we have to go into Appearance and go to Widgets. And we have to drag the Buy Me A Coffee button over to your widget area of WordPress. So I'm going to drag and drop it onto the primary slider. I'm going to slap it right below the search. And uh, I'm not going to worry about giving you a title. I'm going to show you what it looks like there. Align to the center. We can also change it to the left or right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and align it left because I think that's what everything on the theme is doing. And then we just hit save. Now if we go back to our home page and we reload it, now we have our buy me a beer button, could be copy, on the sidebar. Which actually doesn't look too bad on this theme. This is the uh, very basic author theme. I'll be probably experimenting with this theme on Rare Sanctuary, but it looks like the uh, buy me a copy stuff works pretty good with it. Now the problem with the buy me a copy button is that it only works as a widget. There's no short code to add it anywhere else into the website. But if you go to Buy Me Coffee's website itself and use its developer, you can copy and paste that code that they give you into WordPress and you can put that pretty much anywhere you want with an HTML uh, block in Gutenberg. Plus there's a lot of different builders like Site Origin and Site Builder that'll let you put uh, pretty much any widget anywhere you want on any page or post. So there's a lot of different ways you can get around it. And I did a video recently about three different ways you can add Buy Me A Coffee to WordPress. Um, you can use it for pretty much any blog. This means you can add your Buy Me A Coffee button to even free platforms like Blogger or Tumblr. Essentially, you're just turning an image into a button and linking it. That is as long as you don't go against the free blog host terms of service. So there you have it. It's uh, pretty simple to use their plugin. I do wish there was more configuration options. Like I would love to be able to add the icons and stuff that you can get off of their website into the plugin. And from what I gathered, they told me that they're still working on it. So there might be some updates in the near future. At which point I'll probably have to make a whole new video about adding the button because the flexibility of the um, custom coding that you can do on the Buy Me Coffee site as opposed to its plugin is way more than what you can do here. Like at one point, I think I had a tiger face on my Buy Me a Coffee button. But I had to remove it because uh, it was causing issues with uh, my PageSpeed Insight scores. But since I'm changing the theme anyway, I might as well just add it back. So what's your favorite donation platform to use for WordPress? Leave in the comments down below. Personally, I'm on the fence. I love Buy Me A Coffee and I'm really liking Ko-Fi. So I did a blog post recently about the difference between the two, which one is better. And it's really hard to decide which one I would prefer because I love the layout of Ko-Fi, but Buy Me A Coffee is really easy to use. And so is Ko-Fi, but it just seems like there's more simplistic features that are in Buy Me Coffee, I guess. Man, so far it's worked fairly well for me. So, anywho, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about WordPress blogging, freelance writing, or anything else I cover. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you next time. Now, once your username is saved in the Buy Me Coffee plugin for WordPress, you're able to. Uh, <laughs> I want you to buy me a coffee word.